Hello everyone and welcome back to another Dead by Daylight Status Effect video. This time answering the question, what is exhausted? Exhausted is represented by this heart symbol, and what it does is prevent the use of specific survivor perks while active. As long as you see this icon on your screen, exhausted is in effect, and you cannot use certain perks. Additionally, the perk itself will be unlit, indicating it is disabled. If you see a gray outer circle ticking down around the heart, this means that the status effect only lasts a limited amount of time and will be removed when the timer is over. However, if you are running while exhausted, the timer will pause, so you must not be running to get rid of the exhausted effect. The exhausted status effect will reset regardless of how much time is left on the timer any time a survivor is put on the hook. You know which perks are affected by Exhausted, because they will all mention the Exhausted status effect in their descriptions, with this phrase. Causes the Exhausted status effect, insert perk name here, cannot be used while Exhausted. You do not recover from the Exhausted status effect while running. The purpose of the Exhausted status effect is to prevent survivors from stacking specific perks together. But survivor perks aren't the only things that apply the Exhausted status effect. Killers can apply Exhausted 2 through various perks and add-ons. Before getting into that, let's first take a look at all the survivor perks that cause this effect. To make these perk readings go by quicker, I will not be repeating the phrase, X perk cannot be used while exhausted, you cannot recover from the exhausted status effect while running, since you now already know what it means. Adrenaline, one of Meg's unique perks, says, Instantly heal one health state and you sprint at 150% your normal running speed for 5 seconds when the exit gates are powered. Adrenaline is on hold if you are disabled at the moment it should take effect and will activate when freed. Adrenaline will wake you up if you are asleep when it triggers. Adrenaline ignores the exhausted status effect, causes the exhausted status effect for 60, 50, or 40 seconds. This is the only perk that ignores any exhausted effect you have on you at the time it triggers. Sprint Burst. Another unique perk to Meg says, when starting to run, break into a sprint at 150% your normal running speed for a maximum of 3 seconds. Causes the exhausted status effect for 60, 50, or 40 seconds. Live, a unique perk to Fen, says, After performing a rushed vault, break it to a sprint at 150% of your normal running speed for a maximum of 3 seconds. Causes the exhausted status effect for 60, 50, or 40 seconds. Balanced Landing, one of Nia's unique perks, says reduce your stagger duration from falling by 75% and reduce the volume of grunts from falling by 100%. You start sprinting at 150% your normal running speed for a maximum of 3 seconds. Causes the exhausted status effect for 60, 50, or 40 seconds. Keep in mind when using balanced landing that the entire perk deactivates while you are exhausted. So you will not get the stagger reduction from long falls or the reduction in stagger noises while you are exhausted. Dead hard. A unique perk to David King says, When injured, press the active ability button while running to dash forward. During the dash, you avoid damage. Causes the exhausted status effect for 60, 50, or 40 seconds. Head on, a unique perk to Jane says, While standing in a locker for 3 seconds, head on activates. While head on is activated, perform a rush action to leave a locker to use head on. If the killer is standing within head on's effective range, the killer is stunned for 3 seconds. Causes the exhausted status effect for 60, 50, or 40 seconds. Head on cannot be used when you have idle crows. You know that head on is active because it will light up after you've been in a locker for 3 seconds. If head-on is unlit, that means it is inactive and will not stun the killer. 
This next perk doesn't apply the exhausted status effect, but can be used to help decrease the exhausted timer. Vigil is a unique perk to Quentin. It says you and your allies within an 8 meter range recover from the exhausted, hemorrhage, mangled, hindered, and blindness status effects 10, 15, or 20% faster. Once out of range, the effect persists for 15 seconds. Vigil works not only on the exhausted caused by the perk, but also if it is caused by killer add-ons. It also stacks with itself, so if multiple survivors have Vigil equipped, you can reduce the exhausted cooldown even more. But it doesn't stack with itself in the way you would think. It is not additive. It is multiplicative. So 4 Vigils would turn the normal 40 second exhausted into about 22 seconds. Now on to how killers can apply exhausted with their perks. Mindbreaker, one of the Demogorgon's unique perks, says while repairing generators with less than 50% repair progression, survivors are afflicted by the exhausted status effect. Any existing exhausted status effect timers are paused while the survivor is repairing a generator. After ending the repair action, the survivor is afflicted by the exhausted status effect for 1, 2, or 3 seconds. Next we have Blood Echo, one of the Oni's unique perks. It says, when hooking a survivor, all other injured survivors suffer from the hemorrhage status effect until healed and the exhaustion status effect for 45 seconds. Blood Echo has a cooldown of 80, 70, or 60 seconds. Currently those are the only two perks that can cause exhausted. So now let's move on to the killer add-ons. These are important to know so you do not get surprised by why you are suddenly unable to use your perk. First we have the Huntress. Her common add-on Bruce Toxin applies exhausted for 30 seconds to survivors hit by her hatchets. Does not stack. She also has a rare add-on called Venomous Concoction that applies the exhausted status effect for 90 seconds to survivors hit by her hatchets. Does not stack. The Demogorgon's very rare Lifeguard Whistle add-on says survivors under the effect of a portal suffer from the exhausted status effect. Once out of contact with the portal, this effect persists for 5 seconds. The pig's rare add-on, Slow Release Toxin, says survivors caught in the reverse bear trap suffer from the exhausted status effect until it is removed. The clown's uncommon add-on solvent jug applies the exhausted status effect for 30 seconds to intoxicated survivors. And that is everything that causes the exhausted status effect. Before ending this video, there's one last thing to remember, and it's that whatever applies the longest timer of exhausted will take priority, and the older, shorter timer will be disregarded. So if you have a 40 second exhausted effect, and then get hit by the Huntress's Venomous Concoction, then the 40 second timer will be disregarded and replaced with the new 90 second exhausted timer. In general, timers from a status effect never stack. The highest one will always just replace the lower timer. Knowing this, you do not have to worry about a killer stacking exhausted add-ons to make a crazy long exhausted timer. And that is everything you need to know about the exhausted status effect. If this video helped you out, make sure to leave a like and feel free to comment below if you have any additional questions. If you know someone who could benefit from this video, share it with them so we can help out as many players as possible. Thanks for watching and as always, good luck out there in the fog and see you next time.